And I talk about the shit nobody's going to talk about. There's three founding fathers. Grandmaster Flash, Cool Herc, and Africa Bambata. Of the universal Zulu nation. Now, Africa Bambata has shit like Soul Sonic Force. You know, there would not be no Luke from Miami or no bass music or booty music if it wasn't for everybody sampling Soul Sonic Force, Africa Bambata. Okay? He's beyond a pioneer. Since I met the man, he was always stand up, always a nice guy. I'm not copping out. He was always about inclusion. He was always about if you Asian and you love hip hop, if you white and you love hip hop, if you black and you Latino, it's inclusion. They would have these Zulu Nation anniversaries. This is where my brother would go, bring the cassette back, and how I learned about hip hop. Now, because we don't like these people, or we have different things about them, we cannot exclude the history of hip hop music. We cannot change it to our likings. If there's a new, uh, cause I asked my daughter the other day, what's the gender? She said, dad, there's like 20, 30 genders now. Okay. So as you see, as time is going on and time and the world is progressing and the world is having different views of things, people who have a voice are starting to distort the facts. Now, I've been hearing for the last couple of years, last couple of years, like just before maybe like COVID, that there's rumors that Africa Bambada was, you know, it hurts my heart to even say this. That's why I've never talked about it. But some people are accusing him of being a child pedophile or somebody who used to play with the kids. I wasn't there. I never seen nothing like that. Now, I'm not discrediting anybody who's a victim or anybody who said this really happened. It happened to dumb. I'm not trying to make you think I know and I was in his bed, or I was in his room, or I was around him to see stuff like that. Me, as a hip-hop fan, I only saw him at hip-hop functions, and he was a graceful man. Um, And so I heard little rumors like this. It was news to me, because I never seen nothing, never heard nothing. And so I just said, let me mind my business and stay out of it, because I... If I don't know it, if I can't stay there, if I can't stand there, if I can't see it, I can't really tell you what it is. Now, for the respect of what he did in Zulu Nation and all that, and I can't, I, I won't say, if it is proven that he's a child pedophile, that he's a piece of shit, he should die. It's a fact. I've always told you that, not about him, about anybody who does that, right? I haven't seen him get locked up. I haven't seen him, uh, and it's not too hard to take a black man to jail for some shit people are saying. It just ain't, right? So he hasn't got locked up. I haven't seen that, but I heard the rumors of people saying that. Um... So now we got a big problem. We got a hip hop museum that's run by Rocky and uh, the security, everybody, everybody's down. Look, everybody was down with each other. Even Fat Joe was Zulu Nation back in the days. Everybody was down with each other. So a lot of the people that are trying to preserve the culture at the museum are either really, really tight with Bambata or... um. Were very tight with him. 
I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about Ahmed. I'm talking about LG. I'm talking about Mickey Benson. I'm talking about uh, everybody. Fat Joe was there with Zulu Nation. Okay? Everybody. This ain't no K. This ain't, you know, I'm just saying everybody knew each other. Right? And, and, and was down with each other. Right? So now there's people saying, Yo, let's stop the hip hop museum because these guys are cool with Bambada. These guys are this and this and this and this and that. Now we got the idea of, all right, do you stop the preserving of hip hop culture, the hip hop museum that people invested their whole lives into and gave up millions of dollars and went all out to get it done to make the Bronx a destination across the country to this, this, that, because this man might have did some ugly shit that we haven't proven yet. But because people that are involved with the museum know him or are cool with him or haven't denounced him, they're starting to start the you know, I'm going to City Hall. I got a complaint. I got a this. What will happen is, <laughs> it, what always happens, say they shut the whole shit down. Because these people saying, yo, I don't want Bad Bada his picture in there. I don't want him this. He did this and this and that. You stop the museum. And this is why whenever people that look like us, speak like us, come from where we come from, try to do something, we shut it down. And so, this is very, very, very situation because they're making a lot, a lot of noise out there. And I don't know what noise is because, you know, you know, I told one of my friends the other day, my friend was asking me, you know, relationship advice and was like, you know, uh, I'm sensitive. You know, my boyfriend, you know, sometimes he says jokes, but not to hurt me, but I'm just so sensitive. It bothers me. I'm not one of those people that laugh at the jokes, especially when it's about me. And I told her, you must have not went on Twitter with me. Because if I go on Twitter right now, I'm a fat fuck. I'm a devil worshiper.